Although she was born and raised in the Bay Area, Diane Fossey made her mark on the world in the remote mountains of Central Africa, where she helped save one of humanity's closest animal relatives. An unhappy childhood drew young Diane more to animals than people. Her love of animals led her to Africa, where an encounter with eminent anthropologist Louis and Mary Leakey inspired her to study elusive mountain gorillas. In the mid-1960s, Diane set up the Karasoki Research Camp near the Virunga volcano chain in Rwanda. That would be her primary home for much of the next 18 years. Diane's painstaking research, along with photos published in National Geographic, Showing her with the gorillas helped change our image of the animals from aggressive beasts to gentle giants who share much of our social behavior. But Diane's efforts were not strictly scientific. Her time in Rwanda made her acutely aware of many of the threats to the gorillas' survival, including human encroachment on their habitat and poaching. Diane began seeing her role as the gorilla's protector, especially after the brutal killing of a gorilla she named Digit. In response, she created the organization that would become the Diane Fossey Gorilla Fund, and she began a campaign of active conservation, including the creation of patrols whose job was to destroy traps and apprehend poachers who entered the forest. In 1980, she took leave from Karasoki to write the book Gorillas in the Mist, which chronicled her years in the jungle with her community of mountain gorillas. The book became an international bestseller and an Academy Award-nominated film. Shortly after returning to her research camp, Diane was murdered. She was laid to rest among the graves of some of her beloved gorillas. The mystery of her killing has never been satisfactorily resolved, but her legacy is without question. Today, the Fossey Fund continues the research and conservation work Diane started. The Virunga population of mountain gorillas, which had dwindled to around 250 individuals by the early 1980s, has more than doubled. Their recovery would have been music to the ears of Diane Fossey, whose final words written in her diary were, when you realize the value of all life, you dwell less on what is past and concentrate more on the preservation of the future.